And, uh, and if the suggestion is that somehow President Obama isn't up to the job uh, because he's African American, it's particularly offensive. Well, to call him an affirmative action president, I'm not sure what that means. If, if the suggestion is that being black is a huge advantage in American politics, then I doubt he would be the first black president. I doubt we'd have so few black members of the Senate and so few black governors. So apparently it's not a huge advantage in American politics. I'll tell you what I do think about Barack Obama, though. It's a person who graduated from Columbia University. It's not quite Georgetown, but still a very good school. <laughs> was, pre was, president of the Harvard, was president of the Harvard Law Review. Still not quite Georgetown Law School, but a very good law school. <laughs> Has gone on to serve with distinction uh, in the US Senate and be, as our president. And I think there's no question about this man's intellect, ability, achievements, and, and, uh, and again, you can dispute his policies. I understand there's a passionate disagreement about the, the, the points I made about uh, whether or not you agree with the health care reform, whether or not you agree with Dodd-Frank, whether or not you agree with uh, the, the ways in which we save the auto companies and, and turn the economy around, whether or not you agree with his national security things. But his, his talent, his aptitude, uh, the skills and uh, passion he's brought to the job, I think, are, are, are facts that are very, very hard to dispute. Uh, you know, in terms of some of the more specifics, as I said, he inherited a huge deficit. He's brought